All right, welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Now, look, the other day I reacted to that video about Pimp C and uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. And it, it just blew my mind because I had never really even thought about that. Didn't know that Pimp C didn't even want to do the whole big pimping song with Jay-Z. Because, uh, you know, he didn't like how... He didn't like the disrespect that they were giving Tupac. He's a big fan, big friend of Tupac. But here it says 50 Cent exposes Jay-Z's biggest secret, how he sold off Beyonce's body. Mm -mm -mm. And, you know, supposedly on, with, with Pimp C, he had a tape. Uh, supposedly of him and Beyonce. That's why they were saying Jay-Z might have took him out. This is crazy, man. But, hey, we're going to jump into it. Appreciate all the love and support with you guys coming over, man. We ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, well, yeah, 16, 17 grams since. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. You know, when you got Jaguar talking He's about He's smarter. Mm-mm-mm. He's patient. 50 Cent is once again turning heads and causing a stir in the entertainment world. And this time, his sights are set on Jay-Z. He's boldly a stir in the entertainment world. And this time... Why he look like that? Short, big head, short arm. Why he look like that? Am I tripping? His sights are set on Jay-Z. He's boldly claiming to possess evidence that Jay-Z sold out Beyonce, brewing up some seriously piping hot tea. We've all heard whispers about Jay-Z supposedly manipulating Beyonce way back when. But surprise, it doesn't end there. Foxy Brown, whom Jay-Z crossed paths with when she was just 15, is also woven into this narrative. So you already know 50 Cent's intake on Diddy's drama, and rumor has it that Jay-Z might be the next target. Now 50 Cent is making bold moves, exposing Jay's shady crimes against women, including his wife, Beyonce. Just picked the wrong girls, I guess. But it feels like he was having relationships. That's wrong, too. Like, if you, if you went as far as keeping... But he might have trust issues. Well, these accusations don't stem from nowhere. Whenever Jay's name pops up in less than glowing conversations, you can bet 50 Cent is there, ready to spill his thoughts. 50 already threw shade at Jay, insinuating that his rise in the industry and Grammy wins skyrocketed only after he linked up with Beyonce, apparently using her body as a means of payment. You know, again, I, as I mentioned in that other video, a lot of people say these industry relationships aren't real. It's a business thing. You know, um, that's why a lot of people be looking at them like, these two are together? You know, I, I said I don't get the, like, lovey-dovey vibe from Beyonce and Jay-Z at all. At all. But it really does seem like a business transaction. So that would make sense for both of them to be excelling off of each other, you know. Meant for the industry's big wigs. Remember Jay-Z's Grammy journey? It didn't kick off until 98 with his first win for Best Rap Album. Then there was a bit of a dry spell until 4 when Crazy in Love snagged a Grammy for him and Beyonce. Fast forward and Jay's now sitting on a throne of 23 Grammys. Damn. And according to 50 Cent, there's something shady behind this insane success. They received the 16, what, well, yeah, 16, 17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. Mm. Right? And, and you go prior to that, one. And apparently, amidst the drama going on right now, 50 Cent is done holding the top guarded secrets of the industry back. As the rapper claimed in his interview in 2009, Jay was having a king complex and couldn't stand a fair competition. He said, he thinks he's effing Jesus. 50 didn't mince words, accusing Jay-Z of being self-centered and willing to betray those closest to him for personal gain. But wait, before you assume this is pure hate, consider Jay-Z's questionable company over the years. He's been cozy with some rather dubious characters like Diddy and R. Kelly. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. And we all know where they stand today. R. Kelly's behind bars for hideous mm -hmm. crimes and Diddy might be heading that way too for similar deeds. So apparently, Jay-Z is just another person in this circle of predators, and he's been preying on his wife for years. Sure, he made her a mega pop star, but her connection with Jay-Z has raised eyebrows among some observers. Let's begin with the fact of their 12-year age gap and total absence of information on when they started dating. While they both claim Beyonce was already of age when they met, 
the significant age difference, and the circumstances of their initial connection have stirred controversy. Rumors abound that Jay-Z might have manipulated her, and later, he's been portrayed as quite the control freak within the relationship. Besides, there's a shadow of infidelity looming over their love story, contributing to trust issues. A beautiful uh, a wife who was understanding and knew that I'm not the, the worst of what I've done. Details about their first meeting ever remain scarce, but Beyonce revealed it occurred while seated next to each other on a plane. While the couple has been pretty secretive about their union, even Jay himself once spilled that it's been built on lies. Looks like Beyonce was slipping out of his control, just like the girls before her, and the music mobile confessed in an interview, this is my real life. I just ran into this place and we built this big, beautiful mansion of a relationship that wasn't totally built on the 100% truth, and it starts cracking. Somehow, after four years of public dating, Jay and Queen Bey shocked the world with a clandestine wedding ceremony in 2008. Prior to this, their engagement wasn't even known to the public, and the whole secrecy thing just hints at something truly inappropriate in their relationship. There was, I don't think you discussed it, and then four days later, you, we find out you're, you got married. That happened? Despite looking inseparable and strong in the public, their story took a rocky turn with Jay-Z's well-known infidelity, a chapter both have openly acknowledged. It's where fans first started to speculate that something seemed off in this union. As one person commented, their relationship always felt forced, yeah, disingenuous yeah. to me. And another user added, Remember when Jay-Z was hanging with R. Kelly? If he do a tell, all it would be out of this world. I don't believe he should have been the only one going to jail. It's been speculated that, despite their 15-year-long marriage, Jay-Z has never been faithful to his wife, and speculations about him having multiple mis- you know, when I when you really think about it, you think of people like Jeffrey Epstein, R. Kelly, Diddy, and you look at their circle. You look at the people around them. And that's why I said it's very, very hard for me to believe that these people that you always see around them doing songs with them uh, don't know what is like going on. But I think they, they get so caught up in the I got all this money. I'm never going to get caught. You know what I mean? That, because like, if you know what he's doing, you would say to yourself, I'm not going to make no music with dude. I, this dude. I don't want any ties with him. But I feel like these, these artists make music with each other because they feel like they're not going to get caught or in trouble. But I think once they get out of line and they don't follow the rules, then people start to release stuff on them. And then the people who, that are tied to them are like, oh, no. Oh, no. You know, because there's no way Jay-Z didn't know what R. Kelly or don't know what Diddy is doing. It ain't no way. Ain't no way. Actresses became even louder when one certain lady named Olivia McFowler came forward and openly admitted how the music mogul was trying to get her number so, unfortunately for Jay-Z, Olivia McFaller was a rapper, so she sent a message to Beyonce in the most show business-like way by releasing a video for her song, Sorry Mrs. Carter, and basically oh, telling yeah. the wife all about it. Life's oh, all man. naturally flawless. Explained that she and Jay never slept together. She hinted that this could have happened if it wasn't for Olivia's high moral standards. As she revealed, the music mogul sent his bodyguards to get her number so he could contact her personally. He sent his guards to me. Excuse me, miss. Do me a favor. Put your number on a piece of paper. When Jay gets settled and he'll call you later. However, as Liv confessed later, the affair that could have happened between her and Jay-Z was prevented by Solange, Beyonce's sister. Mm, so seeing that elevator. Solange was quite menacing towards every girl who was left alone with Jay, Liv refused to start an affair with him and decided to distance herself from this drama. I'm not going to sleep with you. Right. I'm not going to be on your bus. I'm not going to be on your tour. Liv didn't want to associate her name with such a dirty scandal because Beyonce was already a massive superstar. And being a young artist, she never wanted that kind of publicity. As she recalled, I told you, the day Jay-Z and I exchanged numbers. Solange came walking up out of nowhere. I thought I was about to get beaten, so I backed off quickly. She has been guarding her sister's property since day one, but it doesn't even have to say anything. But it looks like Beyonce wasn't even bothered by this drama because she and Jay-Z were never actually dating. And in fact, they kept the whole thing under wraps to avoid answering questions about their love life and not to expose their real dynamics. It was like with you and uh, Beyonce, now, now that's like a deal. You know, that's kind of like a headline. Yeah, pot calling the kettle sneaky. The rumors about Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage have been swirling around for years. And despite so many speculations, with some of them being truly insane, the couple has long stopped commenting anything. 
In 2008, when they just got married, Queen Bee stated that she was not planning to discuss her love life and that decision was mutual. We decide everything. My word is my word. What Jay and I have is real. It's not about interviews or getting the right photo op. It's real. In 2016, Beyonce released her sixth studio album called Lemonade, and some of the songs were about the singer's rocky relationship with Jay-Z and mainly about his infidelity. Again, it raised concerns about the marital problem between Jay and the Queen Bee, hinting that Beyonce was slowly getting out of his control. There was one song in particular that really had everyone talking. The lyrics of Beyonce's Sorry mentioned a woman named Becky at the very- Who was that Becky? And this is where a woman named Rachel Roy came to the spotlight, dropping a post on her Instagram, reading good hair, don't care, and ending her caption with a cryptic message saying it's time to live in the light. Apparently, the whole industry knows what's going on, and Beyonce lives under some type of influence all the time because when you look at their public appearances with Jay, most of the time, she doesn't even know what's happening, and her husband is making sure that she stays this way. That's, that was so weird right The creepy there. speculations that Beyonce may be living under constant influence were backed by the couple's ex-bodyguard, who said that Jay-Z couldn't find another way to control and sell her. Yeah, Beyonce is on substances. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. It almost looks like Jay has learned his lesson and he didn't want another victim to slip away. You probably know about his involvement with other artists who were too young and naive and probably believed that listening to the music mogul was the only way to make it big in the industry. Now, it all seems pretty clear, but for many fans, Beyonce is the biggest victim of her husband because she couldn't break away from his tight grip. As one person commented, she's stupid for staying with him. He's truly in control of her. And another user added, I've never liked Jay-Z once he got with Beyonce knew she would change and she did turning up high in satanic rituals she's a queen and stays high on substances. It's time to dig deeper into this narrative because something about this relationship seems off since the very start. But folks, what do you think about all this? Has Jay-Z truly sold Queen Bee in the past to some industry handlers? And is she actually controlled by him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos. Jay-Z's career. Again, I'll say it, believe what you want to believe. Um, I I can I can see right through all the BS. I can. Um my thing is like what's gonna happen? People gonna still go. It the 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 problem is social media and people wanting to go viral. You know, people don't go to concerts to enjoy the concerts, they go to say I was there. Um, people don't travel to travel. They travel to say, this is where I went. You know, everything has to be broadcast. So, you know, if Jay-Z and D if Diddy came out and it said like guilty, right? Guilty of what all those, everything he's been accused of. Do you think people are going to stop listening to his music? No. People still listen to R. Kelly. Because a lot of people say they can separate the artist from the music. I mean, from the person. And my whole thing with R. Kelly, I'm like, bro, you listen to his music, and he's literally talking about, in his songs, he's talking about stuff that he was doing. So, yeah, that's that's the downside of it is I feel like people just don't care enough to give a damn. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. But comment below. Um, I feel like when people get put on blast like this, you know, I, a lot of people won't come to their defense because they're blinded by the art, by the talent. Uh, so that way they're, they don't care who the person is. But, hey, appreciate y'all coming over and watching, man. Peace out.